Hello traders and welcome to Krillex Trading. I am Alex and uh, first of all I'd like to thank you for joining us on this video. I know there's been some time since we last posted but we had some uh, busy days this week. Uh, the FTMO account, uh, the funded account is still okay so expect a video with an update soon. But uh, the purpose of today's video is a different one. We wanted to uh, give uh, old fashioned price action trading a shot. And uh, what we will show, what actually what I will show you today is uh, a trading strategy based solely on price action on the one minute time frame on the US dollar Japanese yen pair. First of all, uh, let's uh, establish some ground rules. So uh, the first thing that you have to do is uh, plot some of the resistance and support areas on the four hours time frame, as you can see that I did here prior to starting this video. Uh, you may choose uh, several, it looks like I missed one right here. So uh, basically just uh, plot all the spots that you see price reacting to. Uh, two wicks are uh, enough, but uh, just make them as uh, solid as possible to make sure you won't clutter your graph with uh, so many lines. So uh, now that, uh, as you can see, the four hour time frame level part is covered, let's scroll down a bit and uh, let's see what we are going to look for on the one minute time frame so uh, first of all uh, on the one minute time frame from what i noticed price tends to uh, do these uh, mini ranges so uh, price tends to do something like uh, like this rejection here support here somewhere in between rejection again and uh, we'll go and find this support here so uh, what we're going to do here is uh, basically count two rejections to each side. So one, two, and one, two. And uh, after these four rejections have been counted, we can uh, for sure uh, draw this box and uh, wait for some uh, candlestick patterns to, uh, show, uh, to show up right here. Maybe a pin bar, a bullish pin bar would be the case right here, or even a, a bullish engulfing and uh, take this trade all the way to the top of the box and uh, this will be our take profit level and if it breaks the box then we will maybe look for uh, let me extend the box a bit here okay so if the price were to break the box we may look for a break and a retest again depending on how solid this break is we may take it on the first uh, retest or if the candlestick pattern is not that conclusive we may wait for another retest and uh, to make sure that this level is uh, as bulletproof as possible this is regarding the trending markets and uh, regard uh, the ranging market sorry and regarding the trading market so uh, let's see we have a trading uh, market which looks something like this maybe a bit of a big retest like this in these cases we will uh, just look for uh, previous levels that got broken maybe like this like this like this or in a case we don't have uh, friendly instances such such as these ones we can uh, just uh, let's maybe draw the fibs as you can see i have a standard uh, 0 0.382 618 which is the golden line and uh, 764 and uh, we will uh, use fibs as freely as possible in case of uh, in case of trending markets uh, the risk that we will take per trade will be for the sake of uh, quick uh, calculations 0.2% from the account so uh, if you have a 50k account you will uh, risk uh, two, uh, $100 sorry and uh, without further ado let's go and uh, do some uh, price action backtesting <music> Okay, so uh, now we're back on the 4 hour time frame. I forgot to tell you earlier, uh, it's obvious, but I have to state it. This, these levels that I drew here are basically, again, indicators that uh, price may react to them. So uh, as you can see, we have a reaction here and uh, the same goes if the price goes all the way up to this level on the one minute time frame, we will maybe look for sells and target this level or um, some other uh, price action uh, given level around this area. So I forgot to cover this. 
And uh, now that we have uh, all the rules covered, let's go to the one hour time frame. I will be back testing uh, US dollar Japanese yen, as I previously said, starting from 8 a.m. Eastern European time on the 21st of January current year. Okay, so uh, now we are on the one minute time frame. As you can see, we have this level here that got rejected, but it was during night time, so uh, nothing much to do here. As, uh, as you can see, we are now in an uptrend, but uh, from the bat we can uh, already identify a minor level here, which is given by these two rejections. Now, uh, we will have to see if uh, we will have a rejection from this level, or from this level, or from this level, and uh, maybe draw our box and uh, go from there with our trading. Okay, so uh, we may have a level here, yeah, it's correct. So uh, now we can safely draw the box. As you can see, we have these two instances here where price rejected this area and also these two instances up here. So uh, let's draw our box and uh, let's see if we can uh, get into some nice trades. This would be nice. Again, make sure to cover both wicks. You can also take the bodies, take the wicks. Uh, this depends on you. Uh, Dif uh, this is a different aspect from the strategies we presented on our channel. This strategy involves uh, quite a bit of discretion, uh, starting from the drawing of these boxes, uh, from the interpretation of an uptrend or a downtrend, and uh, also from the entries. Because uh, as, uh, as you can probably see here, uh, I drew this box judging by this wick, you may take it from the candlestick body, so uh, you get the point. The thing is, you have to backtest it and uh, use it on a demo account first and uh, risk as little as possible on your first shot. So uh, now let's see if we can get another legitimate uh, retest down here because uh, I don't like this impulse and I'm not sure what price will do at this level. I'm open to taking it on a double bottom if uh, if any. If not, I lost. A, I just lost a trading opportunity. Let's see what happens. Okay, so uh, we are back down here, and uh, let's see if we can do something about this point right now. Nothing, as you can see, we broke this level right here. Uh, so uh, we may look for a retest of this area and maybe shoot down. No trades taken so far, but no, we are back into the box. So uh, maybe the box that I drew wasn't that accurate at all. So uh, let's see if we can get a nice retest on the box that we drew and uh, maybe take it from there. Okay, now we have a nice uh, bull engulfing candle. I will just update this area right around this place should be good. Now we have a nice bullish engulfing candle, which I will mark as a buying opportunity. So uh, price, uh, the order will be market execution, stop loss will be just a few points below the most recent low, which is this one. And uh, we will target, uh, let's see, the top of the box is uh, three, and a, 3 and something to 1. No, I will just target 3 to 1. So we are now in the, in the first trade. Let's see how this will go. So far, so good. Ah, no, not yet. Okay, so we have the first loss. As you can see, the price gained some momentum, but uh, then uh, stopped somewhere in this area because I think that now we can identify a second box, a smaller one that will be included in this area. So uh, let me mark this as a loss first. So uh, we lost 0.2%. And uh, now maybe I will just drag this box right here and uh, make a smaller one around this area which seems to be an area where price is reacting quite violently as you can see this rejection was huge the price seemed to be going up with momentum but then it uh, crashed down uh, nonetheless if it were a bullish engulfing pattern or any bullish candlestick pattern here i will take it not sure about this one but this counts as a double bottom so i will take it I will take it because price uh, seems to be volatile. Again, I'm only risking 0.2% and uh, as you will see, most of my trades will be at least 2 to 1. Okay, so we have a 2 to 1 up until the, these wicks. 
and uh, i think that's as far as we can go up to now because as you can see this is a more valid area than this one so uh, let's see how the price will react right here and uh, the two to one was hit it's interesting to see if this one was hit but anyway i only marked this area as a two to one so i will add it as a profit okay and uh, moving on and as you can see this uh, would have been a nice and valid uh, trade but uh, again i saw all all this uh, this wiki area over here and i thought that uh, again two percent was more than enough for this strategy and uh, let's see what happens here again we can take it we can take the same trade but on the reverse right now as you can see we have a huge huge wick here and a nice red candle that closed below this area so uh, i i will make an aggressive entry right here given the fact that the stop loss is quite big if the stop loss were smaller i think i would uh, wait for another retest and uh, let's see what can we target this is way too small one to one is way too small and uh, two to one mm -mm, no i won't take this trade because uh, we don't have enough room to maneuver in this box given that the stop loss is quite large i will just wait for another entry again this uh, depends solely on you but I prefer to take uh, larger risks to, to reward trades when I'm trading this strategy. Again, not, uh, not that convincing. This wick is uh, not doing me any good in pursuing me taking a sell here. And as you can see, the price shot to the upside. So uh, maybe we will see this box invalidated and uh, move on. Yeah, we have a rejection right on the edge of that box. But uh, now we seem to be going back in it. Uh, some kind of sloppy price action. We can identify some lows here. But uh, the high area is uh, not yet that conclusive. We will just draw this. Something like this. So that we can expect price to react within it. And uh, maybe look for something. Uh, look for some shorting opportunities. Again, as long as I don't see price shooting out of this small box here, I won't be entering any sell trades because as you can see, we are just ranging right now with wicks to the both sides. Yeah, maybe now. Now it's okay. Now it's okay. So this is a nice candlestick pattern. But again, the stop loss would have been way too high right here. So I will be moving on. Okay, we are edging on the end of this uh, of this area the thing that i'm noticing here is that the impulse is a bit to the upside because we can see that when the price went up it shot up but when it was going down and it was correcting it was a bit a uh, bit uh, calm so kind of like a descending uh, descending uh, channel right here so uh, right now i will just use the fib tool on this move to the upside and uh, let's see, as you can see, we have a nice confluence here. The 618 is uh, right on the edge of the second box that we drew. So uh, this may be a trade, a buy instance. Let's see how the next candle will look. And uh, that's uh, enough for me. I like trading fibs and uh, I will take this trade given uh, that these two confluences occurred, occurred here. So let's see, 13 points and uh, we will target... 3 to 1 is uh, somewhere in between so we either target this area which is 2 to 1 or we target the top of the fib uh not sure which one to target let's let's try this 4 to 1 and uh maybe we will uh, we will get some uh, some nice trades but uh, it looks like we will be stopped out yeah we are stopped out right here so uh, no worries we will add this to our loss take the fibs out and uh, and move on so uh, nothing quite conclusive so far we can see that price is uh, quite wild maybe edging to the to the bottom of this box let me just update these for you guys okay this is a nice retest of the bottom of the box but again as you can see we have a nice and strong level forming here so i won't be taking any trades based on this candle because the stop loss will be way up here way down here sorry and uh, i will barely get maybe a two to one to the top of the box so i won't be doing that just now let's see maybe if we get some uh, some better instances 
Okay, this is uh, this is quite an interesting uh, instance right here because we can see some some kind of uh, reverse head and shoulders forming here. But I think that it will want to retest this box at least once more. So uh, yeah, as I said, it wanted to retest that box one more. Okay, so I missed this trade, guide, guys, but this was a nice trade that I didn't take. But as you can see, this was the head and uh, this was kind of a short and crooked shoulder. But uh, given that this candle was so impulsive in nature, maybe a buy would have been uh, good here targeting again the top of the the top and the completion of the pattern but uh, if i were to check it i think again there wouldn't have been enough room to maneuver here so uh, let's just plot it for the sake of it as you can see we would have barely gotten a uh, one two five to one which is uh, which is way subpar to uh, what we want to do using the strategy again we want to uh, catch big moves again we are in the same area where the price rejected so uh, let's look for a more conclusive candle which may serve us for the entry again this is conclusive but it's not helpful at all i would have loved another retest here and uh, maybe shoot down because given by these wicks i would have expected some ranging price action here but uh, nonetheless, we will move on and see if price does something different. Okay, this is an interesting candle. As you can see, we still have a rejection here. We have a double top formation. It came with momentum, but uh, now the stop loss is uh, way, way more friendlier. So we can squeeze more from this position if, case, if, uh, if the case is. And uh, given... This this is 1.8 here and uh, all the way down should be 4 to 1. This price action is, uh, is quite interesting mostly because of the fact that it seems to uh, push to the upside and uh, we have all these rejections here. And uh, I think that given the number of rejections to the upside, maybe we will go and test the bottom of this... Uh, of this area here um not sure if to wait for another uh, confirmation or not right here because price tends to be wiki just uh, one second let me check let me check something out no it's okay so uh at least i will target this level so uh, let's see the two to one or two. i will leave it at four to one and uh let it be too much talking for this uh, trade that may invalidate me in the next candle so uh, let's see how it goes so far so good yeah so uh this was uh this was a nice trade let's see if the four to one gets hit it would be a disaster if it won't get hit and uh ah it's uh the trade management is still a work in progress we have no idea if you should stop your trades at some point or maybe render them break even for the sake of this video we will uh, just uh leave the trades run as they are and unfortunately i think this will be a loss but the trade w was all the way down to uh 3.5 to 1 but uh, nonetheless it didn't test the bottom of this box so uh, i will just mark it as a loss again so uh, right now just a slight uh, just a slight uh, minus on the account we have the same instance here so we seem to have this huge range that uh, won't get uh, that won't get broken anymore. Again, we'll, we'll try the same uh, the same instance. So uh, nothing nothing else to do. Stop loss a bit big here. So twenty nine points. Let's see if we can get at least two to one at the bottom of this. Nah, I don't like this trade. It's uh, again only two to one for this whole box. I would uh, much likely prefer uh, some uh, bigger risk to re reward ratio. And uh, now we seem to have broken these boxes for good, finally. Okay, yes, yeah, so uh, now we broke them in an impulsive fashion. We can just disregard them and uh, let's see what the price action will give us in this area. Okay, so uh, we have uh, the end of the impulse to the upside. So, excuse me. <clears throat> so uh, now we will uh, 
be we will have to decide which fib level will it take or which fib, fib level best confluences with this uh, particular impulse judging by the size of the impulse and the momentum i will place a trade first of all with the risk of losing it at oh at 0.382 and if this trade gets invalidated then i will place another one at the 618 because as you can see it confluences with this level so uh, without any further ado i will place i'm not sure about the stop loss here but i will place it kind of like this so uh, let's make it a 2.5 to 1 all the way up here Stop loss should be somewhere around here. And uh, this is the first entry that we will be placing as a pending order. Targeting again the top of the FIB given that this uh, move was uh, quite impulsive to the upside. And uh, as you can see again the price went close to taking our take profit. But uh, now it uh, shut down and I think it will uh, retest the 618 or if it goes way too impulsive I think that this will just be a fake out and maybe look for this level or for the zero level we will have to see. Again we get taken out right here. This is bad again the position went in our favor for some time but uh, right now it uh, just got rendered as a losing trade. Again, we will uh, stick to our plan and uh, place another entry in this area. Stop loss again below this level and uh, targeting the whole move. Targeting 4 to 1 this time. This is uh, too bad because uh, we would have gotten our take profit uh, taken right there. It's, uh, it's a pity that the stop loss was, uh, was taken. Now we are in the second trade using this FIB. And uh, again, we this time we take we take the profit, we take the full profit. So I was right the first time. I kind of rushed entering on the 30.382 because I saw that there was actually there wasn't any red candle in this area. So I said that it will be a short retest and the sh and the shooting of the price to the upside. But as you can see, it wanted the exact. 0618 which confluences with the, this level these wicks right here so i will just mark a nice uh, 4 to 1 profit which puts me right now in the green and uh, let's move on and see what the price does i will take this fib out and uh, again we can see that we have a level around this area where price tends to react and reverse not anymore we had these two instances but now we shut up so uh, maybe we can enter on a retest depending on how the retest will be made again kind of a kind of a nice impulse which uh, makes me again put the fib to work so uh, the start of this huge impulse would have been from this candle as you can see we had the correction here so this is the start of the impulse again 618 looks very appealing and uh, i will place a buy order right on the 618 level i think a bit higher because there is this level as well and uh, the stop loss will be tight as well as you can see we have uh, 15 points here and we can target all the way to uh, three to one so uh, this is my entry i won't be entering on the 0.382 because as you can see this impulse to the upside was a bit more mellow than the previous one let's see what happens kind of a ranging price action we get close to getting triggered in the position but uh, not yet as you can see price is reacting to this level it reacted three times right here so uh, this line is uh, is nice again no fibs right there but we will take this into into consideration again we st and on the top side we have this line so uh, maybe we can uh, already draw another box right here i kind of like this again if price shoots back to this previous area of uh, resistance that now became support and will take us up it would be great if not we will just be Taking a look at this box where price seems to be ranging in. Okay, so uh, nothing much right now. Price didn't trigger us in. 
we can take this box out we can also take the fib out this trade is invalidated right now and uh, we can see another push to the upside so uh, again we will be looking for a uh, for this as well but uh, i can see that uh, this video has gone for uh, way way too long uh we took uh, six trades i hope you guys uh got the hang of it we are still back testing it again lots of discretion involved but if you guys want to uh, maybe make a live back testing session using this strategy please let, let us know in the comments because it would help us a lot and it will also help you a lot because it's uh, i think price action is the most important thing you have to learn set aside indicators you have to obtain a solid uh, price action trading uh, background so that it will aid you even if using indicators so uh, <clears throat> sorry i think i will call this a video uh, as you can see nothing uh, too eventful happened here we had uh, quite a ranging market with uh, high volatility but you got the hang of it if you want to see similar videos and if you want to see this in the back testing uh, live back testing sessions please let us know in the comments uh until that until then sorry thanks for watching have a nice end of the week and uh, see you in our next videos bye bye